What's going on guys? Half Click up here. Welcome back to our Tiger 800 Mods and Maintenance Series. Joining me today, as always, is our trusty cameraman and assistant, False Neutral. Today we're going to be installing the ADV Beak on the front of our 2014 Triumph Tiger 800. Let's get to it. All right, so just a little bit of background information here. This is a 2014 Tiger 800 ABS base model, um, what they call the Roadie. Now the Roadie is known to be a more street-friendly version of the Tiger 800. It has cast wheels instead of wire wheels. It also has a slightly shorter uh, front set suspension travel. And the most notable difference is the fact that it lacks a beak. Now every proper ADV bike should have a beak, in my opinion. Um, Triumph Tiger purists tend to frown, from what I can tell, tend to frown on putting a beak on a roadie. Um, however, I think it is just absolutely lacking without a front beak. A uh, little bit of background about the beak itself. It is the rarest beak in existence. And what I mean is, uh, for one, the beaks are not produced anymore. Uh, so they're already kind of hard to find. And for two, the rarest one was painted in sapphire blue, which this bike is, and there is one seller that I have found. It's called Speedy Triumph on eBay. Uh, Speedy 675, I believe, is their, uh, their eBay name. It is a company based out of London, and they have a couple of these in stock, and I was able to get one. I probably paid a little bit too much for it, however, uh, <laughs> she had to have it, guys. So here we go. By the way, triumphinstructions.com, you punch in the part number of whatever Triumph accessory you get, and it will have the actual Triumph instructions for you to print out and uh, utilize to install pretty much every Triumph accessory there is out there. So I've got the instructions here. They are very short and sweet, very simple. There's not a whole lot to this. In fact, uh, you will utilize, I believe, a, yep, a five millimeter hex head, and you will remove four bolts real quick we'll look we'll look them over you'll remove this guy this guy this guy and of course this guy and the entire cockpit panel will separate from the bike and then we remove this piece and rebuild it on the ground installing the beak mount it all back up together again just four bolts and it's a few bolts to uh, mount the beak to the support bracket here so let's uh tear it out of the box and check it out all right so what we're working with here obviously i've already opened it up uh to inspect it fun fact this beak took over or just at two months to get here uh it got caught up in u.s customs in chicago for a solid month and then it jumped to the West Coast and sat in San Francisco for almost a week. And here we are two months later and we finally have it in our possession. And luckily it is in mint condition. No complaints there. Here you go kids. The unicorn of Triumph Tiger Beaks. Sapphire blue. It's gonna look awesome. Sick. Right. So this is all that's in the box. The beak, painted in your flavor, and the bracket. A little bit of hardware. Our bracket. Here's all of our hardware. And these are bolts all used to fasten the beak to the bracket. And these little fittings here will uh, attach to the bike allowing us to screw the larger accessory to the bike. Okay, so what we have here, hardware laid out. Four bolts will be used to attach the beak support in the beak. It's one, two, three, and four. And then these two captive nuts and these two uh, bolts will be used to fasten the bracket and beak assembly to the motorcycle. All right, so starting up top. All right, 
moving to the side. That come to find out, that's on there with a nut. Good to know. Okay, fast forward a little bit. Come to find out, uh, I couldn't hold that with my just my hands. So it is a 10. It's a 10 millimeter. All right, now theoretically, this entire piece should just come straight off. There she is. Now, we are going to remove the little mouthpiece from the, uh, the bracketry here, and we will attach the beak. And then we'll mount the whole thing back on the bike. All right, so according to our instructions, the first thing we're gonna do here is remove just two fittings from uh, the centerpiece, separating it from the overall bracketry. And this guy here. There we go. Separated. Step three says to fit the two M5 captive nuts, that's these guys, to the front subframe brackets below the headlight, as shown. So we're going to mimic that right there. Alright. Now, uh, step four, position the tang of the beak support panel between the inner and outer panels of the left-hand cockpit side assembly. Align the fixing holes and secure using one of the fixings removed at step two. So the ones we just removed to separate that centerpiece, we will reuse to attach the uh, beak support to the, uh, the factory part, the factory sides. So that's what we're getting rid of. This is what we're replacing it with. So this is exactly the setup that comes on the XC, right? If you uh, purchase a Tiger with the wire wheels and all that fun stuff. So we are basically mimicking what comes with that bike. Okay, step seven, we are going to attach the actual painted beak to the bracket. Easy peasy, guys. There's really not a whole lot to this operation. You know, I really wonder why the beak just didn't come standard um, on all Tigers, you know? It's, it's kind of a staple of an adventure bike, in my opinion, to, uh, to have a beak. So it's a shame that we have to uh, you know, source these things after the fact. All right, so it's gonna utilize one, two, three, and four. Now, these things are kind of taped over. If you look there, see it's, I guess, to protect the, uh, the threads. So you've got to remove these guys. And that will reveal your threads. All right, so we have these fittings supplied with the kit. And again, it's just really crazy at how simple this is because, you know, the, the only thing we're doing is changing the centerpiece. Obviously, the, the big prize 
is your your painted beak right that's what the big aesthetic change is but um, the the methodology of this is just stupidly simple um, you know you're swapping one bracket piece for another is all you're doing and adding the painted piece the beak itself now this uh, the instructions specify three newton meters of torque Man, as far as I'm concerned, three newton meters of torque is hand tight. And these are metal threads too. They're not plastic, so it's they can they can take a good hand tightening, you know what I mean? And now all that's left to do is looking up here, we will slide this guy on this guy same for the other side and then we'll utilize our uh, our bolts here uh, supplied with the kit to bolt them in place and then on the table over there we have all our original hardware which we'll use to put the entire assembly back on the bike all right so sliding her all back into position here ever so gently so as not to scratch our tank Here, let me grab that camera from you, show you what I'm looking at. Here's our two tangs where they slide on. You'll see it kind of slide into position there, right? I'm just, I'm just applying a pushing pressure, wiggling it on there, and it slides right into, into place, and now we can secure it. Just like so now I'm just gonna hand tighten these ever so slightly that way the entire assembly can move back and forth and wiggle so that we can line up these guys up here and get those back screwed down but in the meantime just taking a quick glance guys look at the aesthetic difference already look at that signature ADV bike loving it so far let's let's wrap this up let's finish up Okay, just hand tight. There's a little rail that's sitting inside that allows it to scoot back and forth, which is important because we have to utilize that feature in order to line up the rest of the holes. See there, we want to line that up. And we'll start those and hand tighten those. I remember these holes are not threaded because uh, you have these 10 millimeter nuts that go on the back side. So we just pop those in there like so. All right, same on the other side. I'll start this thread in there. All right, those are hand tight. We'll come back to these in a minute after we resecure our top trim. All right, so bear in mind when you put this back together, there's a tab. You can still see it right there because it's not screwed back together tightly yet. But that tab, which is that tab, has to pop back underneath this plastic here in order for everything to line up. That about does it. I do have to go back and torque everything down. However, installation is complete. Let's stand back and get a look at her. Check that out. That's the look I was going for, guys. I love it. What do you think? Leave a comment down below, guys. Even though she's a roadie, is it not just absolutely necessary to have the beak? 
I think it looks fantastic. And I think Her Majesty would be impressed. Okay, folks, that will wrap up our installation of the High Mud Guard, also known as the Beak, on our 2014 Tiger Triumph 800. If you have any questions regarding this installation, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. As always, this has been me, and that's been you. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Goodbye.